guys, Ron here again with another video. This one's a continuation of the uh, garage, sectional garage door install. Uh, with COVID-19 going on, you can see that uh, both the dog and I are getting haircuts at home. Uh, it's not pretty, but hey, it works. In the last video, I modified the framing to accommodate the longer uh, garage door opener, opener that would be required uh, for the sectional type garage door. Uh, and I provided a notch just big enough to use the super sneaky hinge uh, with a lower clearance requirement than a traditional uh, dual track. In the end, I decided to use the dual track uh, for one reason. Uh, I need to get the job done in one day uh, because I don't want to leave the garage open overnight. And um, therefore, I'll probably use an installer uh, for the final installation. And uh, no one around here is uh, willing to work with the Super Sneaky for whatever reason. And uh, the dual track is pretty common and available. So here you can see a sketch of the uh, double track or dual track system. And this particular manufacturer is showing uh, 8 and a 16th inch headroom requirement. Clope, which is the more common uh, garage door in my neighborhood, they ask for nine and a half inches. So we'll provide the nine and a half inches and that will require a bigger notch in the front. In order to accommodate the uh, torsion spring in the front with the dual track system, we'll have to notch another three inches uh, for four and a half inches total out of the original nine and a half. That's a, uh, it's a pretty severe notch, and to uh, regain the strength, uh, we're going to assist her the uh, beam uh, to get us that strength. So I decided to uh, assist her with uh, regular lumber rather than plywood. Doing a little research, it's actually uh, stronger using uh, pine two by boards than uh, plywood which orients the layers in different directions. Here you can see that I uh, notched out that uh, inch and a half to allow the uh, existing California style door to open and swing wide open. I also uh, notched the end, um, which when uh, placed there will give us the nine inch clearance required uh, for the front mounted torsion spring. And we'll use that cut out as a uh, template for the uh, existing joist which is up there now. So to uh, support the uh, notched and sistered uh, beams, I um, decided to make my own brackets. As you can see here, I got a, uh, a bottom uh, piece that's about eight inches long and then the uprights are each about four and a half inches. So. Uh, a little bit extra clearance for the uh, five inches of lumber that's going to sit inside and um, yeah this is an uh, inch and a half uh, angle iron eighth inch stick should be, give us uh, plenty of support okay we got the uh, holes marked and uh, punched ready to drill them out before we uh, weld the pieces together looks like about five thirty seconds is the uh, right size hole these joist hanger nails just a little bit of play so it goes in easy not too much so it looks like it's lining up pretty good got everything cleaned with acetone and wire brush the areas around the wells um, normal two bys are uh, actually one and a half inches wide and um, so either sistering two two bys or uh, three-quarter plywood on each side results in the same three inches uh, across so uh, we're going to make it three inches and just a tad so it slips in nice and uh, we'll spot weld it and and uh, put it together so it turns out i screwed up when i uh, put together these uh, brackets uh, i used uh, two two by uh, pieces to judge uh, the width required and one of them must have been a little bit smaller than standard lumber as you can see uh, just misses here 
So rather than redo the uh, brackets, we'll just shave a little bit off the end and uh, that way it'll slip right in. Here you can see I uh, just shaved off a little bit on the end. So when uh, sistering uh, Joyce, uh, they recommend using 16 penny nails. Uh, it's a little unusual because 16 penny nails are three and a half inches long, which means they'd stick out by a half inch. And uh, that'd look kind of nasty. If you went to 10 penny, which are three inches long, uh, the diameter's a little less. So I just took some 16 penny nails, cut off a half inch, and uh, ground down a point on the end uh, so the nail would drive in good. So the other thing is uh, we'll actually glue uh, the sister uh, board to the uh, main joist and uh, to get a good bond we'll use screws to um, uh, deck screws to, to pull the boards together. Uh, the nails have uh, much higher shear strength uh, but they won't pull the boards in um, so we'll use the screws for that and once the glue dries we'll uh, put the nails in. All right so here you can see that the diameter of the nail, 16 penny nail, is actually a little bit bigger than uh, even the uh, threads of the deck screw. So we'll use a deck screw to, screw to pull in the boards tight for the gluing and then the nails go in the same hole nice and snug. Here's one of my favorite little attachments. Uh, basically it uh, changes your little portable drill into uh, a drill press. Gives you a nice straight uh, hole even when uh, you're nowhere near your shop or in an awkward position, uh, just gives you a nice 90 degree uh, cut or a hole. Okay, so here you can see I used uh, the board, support sister board that I prepared as a template and marked out where I have to cut uh, the existing joists. All right, so here we're gonna uh, add glue to the uh, inside before putting it up. Okay, we got the glue on. Now we'll uh, press it on into position. We'll uh, start with one nail just to get it where it needs to be, and then we'll use deck screws to pull the two boards together tight so, until the glue can set. I supported this one with a two by four wedged in, and put in my welded bracket to give lots of support to the two sister boards and that'll give it plenty of strength. Uh, with the uh, project complete, uh, we've created the nine and a half inch headroom required for the front torsion spring. Both beams and sister boards are fully supported by the uh, brackets on each side and the sister boards are firmly secured to the main boards by both glue and the 16 penny nails, three every 16 inches.